Hello everybody, this is Hectogram TV, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to UV map in Blender. Um, I'm don't I'm not an expert on this subject, and nor do I pretend to be, but I'm just seeing that I have to approach things from a very amateur point of way. It's the the best way I understand them from a news point of view, and things are explained easily. So hopefully, when I explain this, other people will understand them too. And this is I just download 2.5, so bear with me if I'm a little bit slow on some of the things. So I already have a prepared mesh. I didn't want to waste a lot of time setting up a mesh. But I'm going to go into the solid settings for the object and I'm panning with the middle mouse button. And I made this simple almost like an AK-47 stock. I press tab and I go into the edit mode. And you can see how I can edit all my mesh between all the different versions of selection. So what I did was, when you want to set up how you want to UV map something, you're basically just telling Blender you have a picture and you want the faces to show a certain part of that picture on however you want to map that around. Uh, if you just unwrap a model that you've made normally, it's going to turn out quite messy. So what you want to do is you would probably get a tool like the Edge Selection tool right here and select it and select chunks that you want that will work out nicely to be seamed so I'm not going to do this because I've already done it but I'm showing you guys I would just select like this right here and I would hit control E and it would say uh, mark seam that's it so when you have the seam and you finish making all the seams you want for your mesh so they're all nicely arranged you're going to use the texture that you have set up and I'm selecting all of it, but you can select one face at a time, or a seam at a time. And you have to, you can just get a normal picture, like the, you can, I edited this picture, I just took the normal texture, and then I used burn and dodge and all those different kind of things in Photoshop to give definitive shapes to the, like right here, the rungs on the uh, side of the stock. So you would make your texture and give it definitive shape. So try to do it to the best of your ability. I didn't use any kind of measuring, I just guessed. So I know that's the back right here and this is the side. So I once you get that and you select it all uh, using A, you would hit U, unwrap, and all the things would line up here. And then you can go through it and you can move all the faces you want because this isn't all paired up nicely like it is right now. Like, um, for example, these guys right here they were like all up over here and stretch you're gonna have to size them down and see how I can move them around so once you've done all that and you've matched up your faces so you would get like this side face here and I can move it to however I want and now it's gonna show more of that the way I've moved it so I'd recommend you make your mesh mark all your seams then you get your texture and you can just use a normal texture but it's not gonna look as good um, once you set up your texture for the AK, like you've made all the sides, you've made all the backs, you've considered each different place you want to match it up to, then you go to image, open image, load in the image you want, you'll find it, there will be a directory, load it in, unwrap your mesh, select all, you unwrap, and then move the faces however you want over the mesh, and it will display that way properly. Um, I don't know how to enable text face on 2.5, but you would go into object mode in 2.49 there was a button in materials and you would enable text face and that would show it in the render um, what I'm showing you right now is just how to show uh, it's very simple it's just you show the textures will show up in the textured version so you could run the game engine and the textures I don't know how to smooth it out or optimize it you can get rid of these nasty hard edges and make it look very nice but I don't know how to do that I'm just covering how to unwrap and texture properly so if there is anything I did wrong or any constructive criticism or if this helped you at all, please leave some feedback. Thank you. This is Hectogram TV and I will post some more videos on Blender help um, if you guys are interested in seeing more. Thank you and I will answer any questions in the comments section. Subscribe and talk to you guys.